Let's begin with the Russian approach. In order to master the Russian approach, you have to learn to look at the matrix and to directly identify the patterns that correspond to the six terms in the determinant. Three positive terms and three negative terms. The three positive terms come from patterns that are related to the main diagonal. And the three negative terms come from three similar patterns that relate in the same way to the negative diagonal. So let's go over the positive terms first. The first positive term actually comes from the three diagonal entries. So it's 1 times 5 times 9. So let's draw it on the board and write it down. So the pattern is right here. It's the entries on the main diagonal. And the corresponding term is 1 times 5 times 9. For the other two positive terms, you have to look for two triangles that have a base that's parallel to the main diagonal. One triangle is this one right here. 2, 6, and that's the two vertices that form a side that's parallel to the main diagonal. And the remaining vertex is 7. So it's 2, 6, 7. It's this triangle right here. So the first term is the diagonal itself, and the second term is a triangle that has a side parallel to the main diagonal. So it's 2 times 6 times 7, plus 2 times 6 times 7. And now we have to identify the other triangle that has a side parallel to the same diagonal. That's the remaining positive term. Can you see that triangle? There's another triangle that's similar to this one and also has a side parallel to the main diagonal. Here it is right here. 4, 8, that's the side that's parallel to the diagonal. 4, 8, 3. So I'll write it as 3 times 8 times 4. And let me draw it in and risk the drawing becoming quite messy. So these are the two triangles. Here is one. And here is the other. And the corresponding term is plus 3 times 4 times 8. And it's okay that we're encroaching on the American territory because the American approach will actually produce the same terms. So we'll describe what it is and simply point to the terms rather than writing them down. So that's it for the three positive terms. Now the three negative terms come from similar patterns that are related to the opposite diagonal. So I won't draw them because then the drawing will definitely become quite messy. But the first term is 3 times 5 times 7. That's the opposite diagonal. So 3 times 5 times 7 with a minus sign. Now we have to find two triangles that have sides parallel to the opposite diagonal. And the first triangle is this one right here, 2, 4, 9. Here is the base that's parallel to the opposite diagonal. So it's a similar pattern, but opposite relationship. It's the relationship to the opposite diagonal. So 2, 4, 9. And can you see the other one? Here it is right here, 6, 8, 1. So, so 2, 4, 9, 6, 8, 1. So minus 2 times 4 times 9 minus 6 times 8 times 1. And there you go. We've ended up with the six terms that represent the determinant of this matrix. And of course, when we complete this calculation, the, two, the three positive terms will add up to 225. The three negative terms will add up to negative 225. And the result is 0 which, of course, is something that we knew to begin with, so let's write it down. So there you go. This is the Russian approach to 3x3 three three determinants. Its advantage is its directness. You simply look at the matrix, pick out exactly what you need, and then complete the calculation. The disadvantage is that you might consider these patterns to be somewhat complicated. And then, after all is said and done, you're still left with some multiplications and some additions. So those are the disadvantages, but I think that the advantage of its directness 
outweighs the disadvantages. So on the balance, it's not bad.